with an 8p stat of 125 and an incredible special attack stat of 137, Raging Bolt seems like it could be a real meta threat for the upcoming Regulation F. But Berg, how can Raging Bolt be a meta threat when its 75 base speed stat isn't fast enough for either a Tailwind or slow enough for a Trick Room team? Well my friend, that's because Raging Bolt has been giving a new signature move in Thunderclap. Thunderclap is essentially just an electric version of Sucker Punch, which means it can go before almost every Pokemon in the game if they attack. So, without further ado, let's get this party started and hop on the Casio ladder and check out this brand new electric Sucker Punch. Okay, so what is going on fellow trainers and welcome back to the YouTube channel where we are playing against, I guess, a full electric team. This doesn't seem too serious of a team, but full electric team, um, which means I think we don't need to be too scared with the Raging Bolt here. We could probably, honestly, lead it next to Amoongus. Iron Hands in the back seems pretty, pretty nice as well. Thank you. I think we're just going to center off. Doesn't seem like a too serious team to be honest but i mean i shouldn't i wouldn't be surprised if we got clapped with this team honestly so it's all about being composed and not think this team is is bad when in reality it might not be so let's see who um who she brings to the table um i was interested uh or surprised i'd say to see the mining and plus all uh since they're absolute trash for competitors so i'm very very surprised to see those two even though i think they're like they're one of my some of my favorite Pokemon. I just love their design. But anyway, Lisa with the Toxic Krog, I think is it not Toxic something. If I'm not mistaken, I could be absolutely mistaken. I think go for Calm Mind here, Electro Bus too. I think it goes for Sound Wave here. Sound Wave here, doesn't it? There has to be something like a Sound Wave. We might actually hit a Protect and hit the uh, the Spore. Because I am pretty sure that Electric Buzz gets soundproof. Oh, comes up with a taunt here. I didn't know Electric Buzz got taunt. That's very interesting. Okay. So we should definitely go for that Calm Mind. This absolutely screwed us over. Um. Okay. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Well, what are we going to do here? I actually think Incineroar coming in might be okay. And just just hit the clear smog into the... I, I need to check, check out what it's actually called. It has to be Toxic. I think it's Toxic Croak. It's not Toxic Croak. That's my bad. It's Toxicity. That's what it's called. It was... I almost got it, okay? My bad. It is Toxicity. For a minute I thought it was um, Toxic Croak. But completely different Pokemon. Trox... Trox... I can't even say that. That we won't. Okay. And then we hit the clear smoke into the uh into the electro bus. Unfortunately. I do wonder, does follow me go before a fake out or not? That is what I am unsure about. So I think we Try to fake out, and I think we hope we hit. I'm not sure if we do. I just hope we do type thing right now. That's kind of like my my hope at the moment. So I'm not sure how we're going to deal with this, because as I said, this team could surprise us, and so far it is surprising me very, very much. Like 100%. I definitely feel like I am getting um, destroyed. At least I think he's. She has the, the upper hand. Okay, Pegor goes before helping hand. I'm not helping follow me, which is quite important. Here comes Overdrive. Doesn't do too much damage. Clear Smog comes out. Okay, perfect. Get rid of that speed. Um, speed boost. Almost done on Incineroar. Don't really have much left to be honest. Mugi Sugar of Tarn, which is. Right, okay, do we have... We don't have Protect on here, which I don't like. So I think we go for Switch into the Iron Hands here. I think I have an idea. So we go into Iron Hands because Taunt is most likely going to come out here. Switch into Iron Hands. We don't need Taunt on that thing. I mean, we don't need a, a status move. So yeah, so Taunt is fine, which means we can fake our next turn into the Electro Bus, go for Spore into the truck Troxicity. And because we get the free Switch in here by the Incineroar getting taken down... We would have gotten a free switch in either way, so I'm perfectly fine with this. In comes Mungus now. 
And here is where things is getting interesting. Because if he doesn't have the... This is the most obvious play for me, I think. But if he has protects on the electricity, we can be in real, real uh, big problems here. So I really don't hope uh, she does have that. But let's see when she finally decides what she want to do. Because I think... There's no way she has. She would have used it by now, I think, right? Because we can fake out the electric bus and get that boy of free into electricity. And then from there on, we can start making some big boy moves. Um, okay, she doesn't have it. Fake out into electric bus. And it flinch, which is perfect. It goes to shift gear again, which I'm actually okay with. Because this means now we get the spoiler off, which was my... Um, my main concern. Okay. Which means I'm pretty sure we will get uh, taunted again. I honestly think we just go for Fierce Mog again into this. And I think we just hit the Drain Bus into Electro Bus. Okay, it goes for Follow Me, which I wasn't expecting. But I guess it's fine. There goes the one mandatory sleep. Okay, not quite enough to KO. I wonder if the clear smoke can do the job. It cannot. Okay. Okay. So I think we do the exact same thing. Like, quite honestly. I don't know why we wouldn't do the same thing. I just need to figure out a way how I take this uh, toxicity down. Because I'm pretty sure everything I have that goes into it. Okay, stasis sleep, perfect. Now, everything I have for it is pretty much not very effective. Goes for electric terrain, which definitely benefits us because we have iron hands. So our protosynthesis will be, or not protosynthesis, our quark drive, my bad, will be activated. And drain punish was going to KO either way, but now at least we have a quark drive activated and our attack stat um, multiplied by 1.3. So I'm definitely taking this. Clear smog? Okay, fine. Now the stat changes are gone. There's a 50 50 chance that Top Tracy wakes up this turn. I am not sure if I can go for a. Okay, here comes Minen. I'm not sure if I can go for a spore through this. But I guess we'll see. At least we can, we can still drain punch instead of Minen. Okay, wakes up. What do you go for? There it is. That's a lot of damage. But it's also a lot of damage into the uh, mining. Okay. Please. I need this board to be able to go off into the uh, top tricity. I need that for sure. Please. I'm not sure if I can though. Yeah, you can't. This... Uh, I, I knew you couldn't do it on... Psychic terrain, but I wasn't sure about electric. Okay, so this is not good for us. It means I think I go for pollen puff here and the switch it switch in. I'm just pretty sure we're gonna die, honestly. Which is quite bad. But I mean what, 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 what else can we do? I need the iron hands, pretty much. So let's see what you go for here. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Why is that so much damage? And a slush bomb. Oh. Oh. That is not great, my friends. That is not great. I do think we still go for a Trestization of Water Drain Punch into Minin. And honestly, uh, how much do we have left for this thing? Electric train still two turns. It means there's not really much we can do anyway. But let's see. What does he decide to go for? Because if any electric move, we just screwed, basically. Let's see. Shake comes out here on the Raging Bolt. 
Alluring voice. Okay. Protect, nice. Sludge bump. We're looking at 6%. Drain punch. Straight KO. Okay. We might be back in the game. We might have a slight chance of getting this done. Only problem is the toxicity moves before us. We do have Thunderbolt though. Oh, he can he can still hit us for double damage, unfortunately. But this is the only chance we have, I think. Let's see what Tricity translates into. Most likely going to be normal type, I would assume. Yes, to get that boom burst up and going. Uh, I don't know if we can win this. We will have to wait and see. Boom burst, I think that's going to KO us. It's such a strong move anyway. Oh, we just barely survived there on the Iron Hands. Oh my god, you are one bulky bastard, aren't you? Drain Punch comes out. Take the win with the first matchup. Oh my god, that was so clutch. Iron Hands still going strong in this. Um, in, in, oh, it is going to go strong in the, in the regulation F still, I can tell. That thing came in clutch at the end. Oh my god, that was so close. We didn't get to see much to the Raging Bolt. So I hope we get to see that in the next matchup. Okay, so this time around, it is a Tornadus, the Acladon, um, Primarina, Incineroar, Indeedee, and the Incinerate Landris, which has seemed to be quite a strong Pokemon for the Regulation F so far, the games I have been played. Which means it's not going to go too well into our um, Raging Bolt here. Which means I think we are going to need... Uh, whatever your name is in English. With me. Okay. Or is it just Araquinid? There's no way that's his actual name, is there? Oh shit, there is. Okay. So that is actually his name, which is fine. Um, I think next to... Mungus is pretty darn good. And then I just think having Iron Hands in the back is very important, considering what happened last match. Um, I was really considering going for the Porygon. Just because they can go for the Trick Room. But I did think they most likely would go for Trick Room themselves. Because they have... I mean, they have Indeedee. But then again, they also have Tornadus. So they're probably using Tornadus Rain Rain Dance. And then Primarina. Okay, so this isn't terrible for us, honestly. We do get the Photosynthesis activated here with the Booster Energy. I think we can honestly just hit a Thunderbolt into the uh, into here and then hit the Spore into the Primarina because I have a thinking that the Primarina is going to switch out or I guess it might Terrestrialize which is what it Terrestrialize into please don't be grass actually that'd be so annoying yep of course it is grass <laughs> oh of course it's grass my God, of course it's grass. Like there's it just always have to be grass, doesn't it? And taunt into the Amoongus, of course. Moonblast, how much damage is that dealing? Probably KO. 16 HP, we just barely survive. Thunderbolt. That's lucky enough for the KO. Thank God. And then we won't be able we can't even hit because of taunt anyway. So it won't mean a matter. Um Get the KO here. And comes out with the... Okay. I do think... I think we need a little cheeky pollen puff. Because I do think he's just going to hit... Uh, Lance here. Or whatever it's called. The ground type move. Oblique wind and uh, stuff like that. I think that's just what, he's, what she's going to hit. 
which I think protect here in order just to be alive. Just one more turn so we can, if we survive Amoongus. That's a lot of damage though with Earth Power, not even gonna lie. And um, luckily we do have a little Citrus Berry on, but what is the Primarina going for? Hyper Voice? We should be able to survive that, I believe. Come on. Yeah, we take that any day for breakfast. Oh, okay, it's Throat Spray. That is interesting. But we now are going to hit the Pollen Puff off. Do okay damage. Which is what I was looking for. Actually, with these two left, we're going to be fine. I'm just, I'm going to Thunderclap into Prima Arena just to get a little bit of damage. Not that it's going to do too much anyway. And we will most likely die in the Amoongus anyway. Thunderclap deals a little bit of damage, not too much. Unfortunately, Earth Power will KO us, I assume. Yeah, it will. Um, so we did get a little bit of damage into Prima Arena with the... Um, with the uh with the thunderclap unfortunately not enough to my liking but we give these two bastards left now it's all up to araquanid and the iron hands how do you think trustization on iron hands makes the most sense here right liquidation do we go bug bite? We can go liquidation, don't we? It's a little bit more dangerous into there. And then thrustization. Drain punch. Actually, you know what? I guess we could also hit a little cheeky fake out. I guess we hit a bug bite. I still. Do we still thrustize? Probably do, don't we? You know what? Let's go with our first thing, liquidation. And let's strain punch over there. Okay. Switch out on the Landris. Comes in for the Are we looking at the Incineroar here? We're not. Looking at Indeedy. Good thing we didn't go for the fake out. Um we, I guess we could have gone for Bug Bite. Uh that would have worked out quite fine then. Uh, even White Gal would have worked out fine here because I'm still sure she's gonna hit the Hyper Voice. Just kind of remember, do it get the Pixelate? Um, let me see here. Hits a Moonblast, deals a lot, a lot of damage. But we deal even more. Let's go. Marina. It's Liquid Voice. Oh, so they become Water Type. Okay. I have a voice as a Buddhist move, that's why. I knew it got something like that. Let's see how much liquidation it's gonna do. That's a lot of damage, Engine Needy. I am taking that. We activate the berry. I assume it's citrus, which means we should still be able to KO it next turn. Only thing is we need to know now is we are faster on the iron hands than we are on the uh Araquanid. Means I think. We still go for Landris. Also, still think we go for Drain Punch into because I think Follow Me. Yep, it's gonna come out. But I do th should be able to KO. Right, Earth Power. That's a lot of damage. It's not enough. It is not enough. Drain Punch. It's not enough. Okay, but we're still in this match because we heal plenty back to be able to survive another Earth Power. But I think we might be in for a crit range from an earth power but i think we should be fine because we do have liquidation to take down the landers as well and just hit a, a heavy slam to be honest yeah it is going to be a dub as well in the second matchup but um we still haven't seen too much of the um raging ball which quite annoys me because that's what this video is about but so far i just haven't been able to be e either set up correctly been able to go for some super effective moves like it hasn't really it's very limited because it only has electric moves but let's get into the third matchup and final matchup and see if we can actually get this thing going okay 
trainer. So for the final match, we are going against an Urshifu, which I assume to be the rabbit tribe because there's no water types on this team. Metagross, which I'm excited to see because I am building a team myself with it. Incineroar, the Amoongus, Fluttermane, and the... Um, why did I forget the name of Roaring Moon for a minute there? Anyway, I think we could lead with Porygon 2. Seems like a pretty, pretty good option. I am trying to think, though. Obviously, we need to take you, Raging Bolt, with us. But, I also think Iron Hands might be a solid option. So, I think we go Iron Hands. Raging Bolt. We have nothing to hit the Metagross with. So, I... I think Incineroar might be our last option. The only thing is though, that's a tough one honestly, but we need a fire type move. We need something to be able to hit Metagross with because Metagross goes re really, really well into this team because it both gets Stomping Tantrum and which is why it's led with. Okay. So this is an ex Exactly what I was hoping for. But I guess we still might have a chance. Trick Room. Water Terrestrialization. And let's... Honestly, I think we just Heavy Slam the... Um, the Flutamain. Honestly, I think that's completely fine. Because a lot of people just think you automatically go for that Fake Out. So, and there's only one one I can go for Fake Out here. And it's into the Metagross. So I think not going for that. And actually switching off for the Heavy Slam instead. And go for an early terrestrialization defensively. Makes a lot of sense. Moonblast. Doesn't do that much damage anymore. Do get special attack. Uh, drop. Doesn't matter. Psychic Fangs. Doesn't do too much damage neither. I'm taking these. Heavy Slam should take the KO. Which it does. Perfectly executed. Very, very important that we got that terror type. Uh, terrestrialization. Water. Terror. Whatever. I'm not speaking well English right now. But very important we got that defensive terror type off here. A defensive terrestrialization off and in comes among us now this is however not very important or not very good but we can ice beam it and then i think we switch in some cinema rope because we have safety goggles which means we're completely fine i think this is pretty nice because i am i am assuming we are gonna see the spore coming off into the iron hands so switching in with the safety goggles on seems like a pretty safe uh, switch in for us and then I'm interested to see what does the Metagross go for because that thing is pretty slow too uh, okay clear body that's what I expect that's what most people is gonna run on Spore okay into Porygon I guess that is interesting now the question is though who are we more afraid of I think we're more afraid of the Among Us than the Metagross right Psychic Fangs Nope, does not affect us, fam. So fine, switch and I'd say, honestly, I think we can switch. I mean, we could switch in for the... Honestly, I'm in for this all day long. Do you want to hit a knockoff really bad into this uh, Mungus to get the berry off? You know what? I think I do this as well. This is, there's no way he goes to double spore into the Porygon slot. So we can, I think we can switch into the Raging Bolt here safely. I'm just interested to see are you going for the Tresslization on the Among Us? I think you are right. It could be Metagross too, honestly. It is Metagross actually, which goes around. And we just switch in with it electric type this is not great not great for us and protect on among us of course oh my god now i wonder what are you coming with here in an eq of course you're coming with an eq you could have not asked for a bit of turn somehow we survive
I don't even know what to say. I genuinely don't know what to say. I still think I fell a bit flare blitz. Because I think we might be slower than Metagross. Spore. Thanks to safety goggles. Okay, we do go first. A lot of damage. Unfortunately, the barrier is going to get eaten. Oh, we get the burn, which is not quite important in terms of the... The, um... In terms of the, um... Damage. Or not the damage, the... Oh, it doesn't have a barrier. That's even better. In terms of the... What, what was I going to say? Not even the damage output. More the, uh... Yeah, just the damage in the end, actually. That's what I meant. I don't know, my... I just got a brain fog there. I think we switch in here. I could finish off this thing. I don't know if I want to. I think knocking off GU might be a little bit more important. Because I do want to save. If I can. Because I could see protect on the... The, um... Yeah. The movies being a thing again and then probably just hitting the EQ again. Which is why I switch out the Raging Bolt. Knock off. I mean... Solvis gone, a little bit of damage, nothing too crazy. EQ. It's probably gonna take down. I don't know if it's gonna take down the um, Porygon. No. Not even close to taking down Porygon. So, the only good thing with Porygon here is the fact that we have Ice Beam. Which I quite frankly like. Only problem is now. I have nothing I can do. Because he has Among Us. I need to turn one wake up, honestly. I don't want that. I don't like that very, very much. I could, it's a, it could be a Rocky Helmet. You know, I think we double up into that Metagross. We double up into that thing. Even though I think it should be faster than us. I hope, but we... I don't think we have even gone a turn yet with Porygon being asleep. So I still think we will be 100% asleep here, unfortunately. Which quite annoys me. But I guess it is what it is. Withdraw some Moongus? Okay, I was not expecting that. But I guess ref the Regenerator is something you're looking for there. He punched straight into that. Oh, that would have been phenomenal. It would have been absolutely phenomenal. Of course it's a crit. Of course it is a crit. You needed a crit as well. Of course it's a crit when you freaking need it. Oh my god. How lucky do you have to be? Come on now. I guess he's gonna terrestrialize flying. No, wait, he can't even terrestrialize. Never mind. Never mind on that. Let's protect on Raging Bolt. Knock off. Oh, I do not like that. See your Evelet. Oh my god, you completely ripped me, didn't you? Completely ripped me. And there goes the game. There's nothing we can do. Nothing we can do because we're limited. We can't attack ground types with this thing. We are absolutely limited to it. I w I we should have brought in the um Of course. And here comes the EQ. Yep. No, oh, not even it was actually just the um the bullet punch. That doesn't matter. We can't do anything. We're doomed. He can EQ us, he can do anything he wanna do. Yeah, we take Gale in the third matchup, and we did not even get to see anything about the Raging Bolt anyway, so, I mean. Dang. That sucks. Okay, trainers, so that is it for the three matches, uh, as per usual, per video. And it is now time to take a look on the team.
what we thought about it and what we are going to rank it. So, um, honestly, I don't really like playing with this team. I actually like the uh, Araquanid a lot better than I expected. I do like Porygon 2 a lot better than I expected. I would have put on Protect to recover probably. Amoongus, we know how good that thing is and the same with the Iron Hands. Incineroar seems pretty good too. I'm still not completely hooked on the hype yet about how strong this thing is, but then again, I also don't really know how to play against it, but every time I play against it, I um, don't like playing against it. I can tell you that much. However, what this video is actually about, it is about the Raging Bolt. And I did not like it whatsoever. Yes, it is strong if you get a Calm Mind off. Then it is very strong with the Thunderclap. But then again, there's so many things in this new Regulation F meta format that resist electric type moves and you meet so many ground type pokemons i know an uh, araquanid is for that and the ice beam on the porygon but it's just not it's literally one to two extra pokemon you have to bring every single time to make sure you can cover for your raging bulls only electric attacks and i do not like that i on the other hand would probably put something else on to either cover for a potential ground type terror or ground type pokemon in general or a dragon type move something of that kind uh the rage ball did not impress me whatsoever so if you guys have a team uh like if you have a team that's better like a better raging ball team perhaps let me know down in the comment section below leave me that rental code i'll make sure to check it out so i did not like using this raging ball at all it is not my type of pokemon for sure definitely looking forward to trying the other um new uh, paradox pokemons and walking wake which would be our next video i think and then i'm very much looking forward to trying out the gojing fire so if you have a team let me know as well looking forward to trying out the iron leaves and the what's it called the iron crown i believe very much looking forward to using that as well i heard it's really good with expanding force um so very much looking forward to trying those pokemons out but however for this team we are going to look at a solid four out of ten like this team did not impress me whatsoever and uh, I'm sorry for whoever made this team. I found it on Twitter, I'm pretty sure, but it's not my cup of tea. If you can figure out how to use it, fair dues to you. I cannot do anything but applaud you for that. That is insane. I cannot figure out how to use this team. So I didn't like this team at all one bit. So yeah, if you guys use today's video for anything, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notification bells, because it'll help me massively as a content creator. And also, it is free, so I mean, why would you not, right? And also then, I just hope you guys stay safe out there, because Happy New Year's, it is going to be New Year tomorrow. So Happy New Year, stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys in the New Year's, and thank you for an amazing year here on the channel, and thank you for letting me hit the thousand subscribers before the year is over. Thank you, thank you so much for that. So, I want to thank you for that and yeah otherwise if you guys want to check out a incredible strong um iron boulder team i'll play with actually then make sure you stay and watch this video